Why, hello YouTube, it is your girl, Queen Angel 16 here. It's been five ever's since I ever made a video. I keep trying to be consistent, but I find it hard with the job I'm doing. Um, I feel like I should put my two cents in about the cause, because you know, the COVID happening, and then um, George Floyd, I believe his name is, and Brianna, I forgot her last name, I'm sorry. Um, but, I'll put a description below what um, people I'm talking about here. But to the people who were in shot or, in this case, thrown out a window or balcony, I believe it was Brianna was thrown out the balcony of her own home or she was shot. I forgot. There's so many people that are affected. That's my cat back there. Hi. <laughs> so it's only affected by this whole scenario, especially with George Floyd, because I saw the video. And uh, I noticed that uh, the cop was just kneeling on him. And I didn't hear him say, like, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Um, I know that now. But I could see on his face that you could tell he was struggling. And, and not in a sense of struggling, like, you know, struggling for money or struggling because he's scared. Struggling that, like, he can't do anything. And the cop is just staring there dumbfounded, like, oh, I'll just do whatever I want. No one's going to say anything. From what I hear, he has been charged. So, yay. He has been charged. He deserves to be punished for that. Um, but let's just say, black people deserve to live as much as anybody else does. And I find it very, 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 adding very difficult to understand why white people and cops are thinking it's okay to kill black people. For what? The, 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 Complexion we give off like yes, I am not dark skin black, but I am mixed black and I know Everybody deserves their rights. My brother. He is african-american and he is dark If I found out he was shot, I would be devastated if I found that he was kneeled on for a solid eight to ten minutes and then told Oh, yeah, right. He didn't deserve to live because he is dark-skinned or he is black That is a terrible excuse to kill someone and to anybody who thinks that's cool, it's fine, we can just kill by people left and right. No, it's not cool, it's not fine. This is happening for years. Um, um, if you guys know the YouTuber Swoop, that's the channel's name, Swoop, she gave a riveting story about what happened to her mother and father when someone said he was trying to break into uh, the family home and they saw his picture, they're like, oh yeah, he lives here. And he was terrified because he had a show ID that he lived there, like, really? And the thing is, if he would have, like, went in that car, they would have said he was trying to run off and shot him. And she would have had no father to this day. And I'm glad it didn't happen. And I hope for the sake of the other family that it was okay and everything's okay. I feel like I'm rambling a lot because <laughs> a lot going on. I can't find the words to talk about how disgusted I am. I, yeah, I'm smiling, I'm bubbling me, but I really am disgusted that it has come down to kneeling on a black man, having him suffocate and say, oh, oops, and then think it's okay. It, black lives matter. And to the people who think black lives matter means you're ignoring white, Hispanic, or other race in the world, we're not. Black lives matter means we're putting up a fight for the people who are killed mercilessly every day. Not even every day, we're harassed every day. And it's terrifying that you can't even drive, go shopping, can't do anything without someone saying, oh, that person looks suspicious, let's kill them. Not every black person is bad. Not every, you know, other people are like black, Hispanic, whatever you may be, is bad. But this keeps systematically saying, let's just kill people because we don't feel safe around them, that's not right. If it was the other way around, people have been fine left and right to live. But no, nope, since it's black people, we have to say, oh, black people are killing our black people. That's not an excuse. Everybody has a chance to live in life and they shouldn't have to die because your views are so skewed right. Or skewed to a point where you think, you think death is more important than having a black person around. And to the person who contacted the police about a fake $20 bill saying, Oh, he knew he was a terrible person. Shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. It's not his fault he knew the money was fake. It happens. I work retail where I gotta check money left and right. And um, sometimes the bills are fake. 
And you gotta tell them, hey, it's fake. Do you think people are gonna be like, oh my god, we have to bash the person for finding out our, their money was fake? No. I just said, I'm sorry, sir, or ma'am, or whoever. Um, we cannot take this $20 bill, or this $100 bill, or $50 bill. Whatever my bill may be. If it's fake, it's fake. And we say, it's fake. Can you get a bill to pay it? Do not call the police and then say, oh, instead of talking face to face, hey, the bill is fake, can't to pay, you decide, I'll call the cops and get him killed instead. That was wrong of you. He had a family. He had a life. And he was just trying to be his happy-go-lucky self. Everybody's trying to live a happy, healthy life. And you're just taking away a life for the sake of a big bill that he probably didn't know about to begin with. I don't know what it is or what it's going to have to take the people to realize killing black people or killing people of color or harassing people of color, making them feel so insignificant or that in this case, let me just say to anybody who's using Black Lives Matter, Matter sorry, I can't talk, Black Lives Matter as clout or get attention because it's a trending thing. I'm not doing this as a trending thing. I'm saying to the people of color, I'm a black cosplayer. If someone saw me walking around, um... In cosplay, they'll think I'm crazy and try to shoot me next, or they'll just say nasty things about me. Listen, I've had people nasty people say this before in the past to me, and I learned to live with it because if I spoke up, no one's going to side with me or try to be like, Oh, the poor thing, they're trying to make her feel better. They're gonna think, Oh, she probably deserved it. And people of color don't deserve to be harassed, killed, or even treated as less than. We're not scum on the bottom of your shoe. We are human beings like you are. We all bleed red, which technically, um, blood is brown until it's oxidized and it turns red. Science lesson. Hey. But <laughs> other than that, it's just really sad that we have to beg people not to kill us. And just, um, today after this video, when I post it, I'm going to, um, go to my parents' house. I went to my mom's house yesterday. And I spent time with them, and it was wonderful. Yes, we were quarantining, but it's my mom and my sister and my dad there, and I have not seen them in forever because I got to look out for my health and their health. As I'm coming over to today because um, my brother's there. He wants to spend time, time with my birthday, which, hey, 26. Yay. Um, but, yeah, I want to spend time with my family. I don't want to find out that he got hurt or my mom and dad got hurt because they're out and about and they're people of color Ooh, nasty burp there this video is going on long enough it's going in eight minutes so i'll probably end it here but here's just my two cents about it i'm sorry if it sounds very rambly or i'm trying to be mean i'm not trying to be mean or any way i just couldn't have the, find the right words to talk about this whole issue that's going around the world and now that i do have the words to describe how I'm feeling or like how my thoughts are in order. I hope you understand. I just want to, you guys know, keep fighting for the cause until no more black people are injured or stalked or in, or in, in kind of danger really. And people are understanding, no, they don't deserve to die because they're dark. Or in this case, it could be the light brown skin and they'd be discriminated against. No one needs, to, needs that. So keep fighting the cause. You're doing good things. And I hopefully be back to you guys soon because I'm probably going to forget to upload again sometime in the future. I'll update you guys on everything else in my life after a while because I'm so busy with work and stuff. But you know you guys um, are sticking around. If you care, you care. You don't, you don't. It's up to you. But have a good old day. Uh, stay safe. Wear your mask. Uh, if you're sick, stay home. If you, know, you need... To get food, have your neighbors get it? I don't know. Do it or float your boat. Have a great day, guys.